What up, everybody? We're back. So, um, again, I don't think it saved where I was. Maybe I have something on this James version. As long as you do both, I'll leave it up to you. So, yeah. I call this, oh, so it saved it. Excuse me, from here. Fresh ideas, isn't it? What have you got for me? So I had already talked to his work and figured all that stuff out. And now I need to talk to Cassie. Uh, James went missing as well. I'll, I'll just do a different one. Fuck it. Um, F it, I mean. This kind of confirms what I found as well. Calling Fresh Ideas is a great plan. I think we have some great leads. So you spoke into Cassie. She might be... She might be to share some intimate secrets about James, if you know what I mean. Yeah, man. I still think you need to learn how to spell. But whatever. She was, she's really gone. I can't find her anywhere except that damn Jabra post. It's like she disappeared from this earth. We're doing the best we can. I don't think getting her, getting on her good side is going to happen. I need to call that asshole. Can we go? just go to the police already? I need some more time, dude. The longer we wait, the harder it is to find her. The first 24 hours are crucial. I'm going to call them. It's not a good idea, trust me. I don't think the cops can help. I'm working fat. I don't think the cops can help. Dude. What? And you can? She is. I was with Anna for six years. Years, okay? We graduated together. Moved to town together. Did everything together. Even had to even had to watch her get messed up by that fucking Greg. I was I was there as true I was there through all of it. Fuck other guys, I'm the only one who treated her right. So don't tell me you can decide what's best for Anna. I didn't know even then. That means a lot to you, huh? I have no idea. Fuck. Oh that's it? Oh, oh shit. I miss her. I don't know what to do. And I need you to be strong, okay? Take a deep breath, Ashley. Um, there, there. And I need you to be strong, okay? I just... If anything happens to her... No, this can't wait any longer. I'm done with you. I'm calling the cops. You and Greg are in this. Both of you are going down. Yeah, I, I kind of figured there wasn't a way to get on her, get on her good side. So, um, so I'm going to download Spark. Yes, online dating is happening. But I figure I deserve <coughs> to be happy and forget about everything else. And there's no point wasting time. So here I go. That's the worst that could happen. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you're right. Um, and I know I already did this. And the reason I coughed was because I was taking a drink. And I fucking drank wrong. So that that's, that happened. But, um, yeah, I already did this. And no, I, there's a lot of shit that can go wrong. I know. But um, in this case. But, uh, yeah, so we need to talk to Cassie now. Um... Go to Jabber. Cassie. Hey, y'all. As a token of my appreciation for my fans and the celebration almost sitting, planning something special. Everyone ask me something special. Everyone ask me anything. Stand a <coughs> Excuse me. Stand a chance to talk to me in my upcoming Jabber contest. Keep an eye on my upcoming contest. The bug, the bug, the bug, I can't fucking talk. Keep an eye on my upcoming post. Find the hidden phone number if you figured it out. Just call me for your AMA with me. So she hid her phone number in the post she made. So let's just keep an eye out. Cassie, it's nine in the morning. Why am I craving Chinese food? Cassie, two. Days in a row of the breeze. Oh my Jesus. Hello? This Hi. is Detective Marillo from the police department. Yes. We have strong evidence to suggest that you are holding on to a missing person's phone. We also have reason to believe that you are working with an accomplice named Greg Summers, conspiring to keep Anna's disappearance a secret. This is an obstruction of justice, uh -huh. and I'm afraid I will have to bring you and Greg in for questioning. 
please. A woman's life is at stake here. I understand that. We are reasonable. If you can assist us with the investigation, there will be no charges. Call me back if you change your mind. Well, you can't help. It's above you. You just fucked up my, my flow right here, bro. I'm sorry, but I'm irritated too. You're not the only one that wants to find her, dude. Do you know my upcoming posts? It's nine in the morning. Two days in a row. Spelt by name as Cassie. A movie should not be three hours long. My bladder can't handle it. <sighs> New GOT po episode is in eight hours. Alrighty. We're getting somewhere now. One day. I'm going to wear my grandpa's sweater. Today is not that day. Why are some of the best English words made up of four letters? Swag, dude. Fuck yeah. Eh. I haven't heard swag in a long time. Case study. Give zero fucks. Feel that. That's the end of my contest. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I do. As I do. XOXOXO. XO, XO. Alright. So I got... 92381... Four zero. Noise. Hiya, this is Keepin' It Cassie. Congratulations, you figured out the secret number. Hell yeah, dude. As you know, you get to ask me one question for my upcoming AMA thread. Uh -huh. So please be patient, as I will contact you on my next availability. We'll be texting you soon. Cool, dude. So she's gonna text me now? Okay, dude. Got your number. It's first come, first serve, so let me finish up with the other, the earlier winners. I'll get back to you once I'm done. Can't wait. Ask her anything. And there's not really anything that... Alright. Okay, so she takes me back. You're up. It's your turn to AMA. Remember, you only get one question. Can I ask you more than one? I'll keep it to one. I'll keep it to one. Awesome possum. Ask away. Tell me more about James Honor. How well do you know James Honor? How well do you know James Honor? Say what? Him? How the hell do you know about him? You're asking the questions now. I have my reasons. He is a person of interest. You want dirt on him or something? Why go through me? Don't you have normal questions to ask? Like, what do you? Th what do I think of climate change? What is the state of social media shaping consumerism? That second one doesn't really sound like a normal question. I mean, I get you ask celebrities that type of shit and stuff, but I don't know. They are normal questions in terms of like interviews and shit, but. Whatever. You know, normal questions. I mean, you know, normal questions. The A stands for anything. I'm pretty disappointed. This is a normal question. The A stands for anything. Ugh, fine. If that's, if that's, if that's what you really want to know, let me two conditions first. Tell me why you, why do you need info on him? I don't know why the fuck I can't talk right now. He's a key witness in a disappearance. It's a matter of life and death. There is a chance that he's a criminal. He's a key witness in a disappearance. Sweet Jeebus. I knew something was up. Oh God, I could have been kidnapped. Look, I'm not sure what you heard, but this sounds seriously effed up. If it's going to help someone else, I will tell you everything. But this is between us. My second condition is that we, jeez, that we keep this between us, okay? Yes, I hear you breathing. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll keep it between us. That's a deal. Okay, let me start from the top. 
I keep my online persona, Keeping It Cassie, and my real life separate. My real name is Cassandra. Keeping It Cassie has always been single. But I'm not. I had a long time boyfriend, but I was dumped. So I went on Spark and chatted with a few guys to get over it. That's when I met James. Did, uh, did he act weird? Not, nothing at the beginning, actually. Started out fine. He was a real charmer. Seems to tell me all the right things. After coming off a shitty relationship, I was at a low place. A low place. He gave me some perspective and plenty of good advice. And then he started to get more things right about me. <sighs> then he started to, to get more things right about me. That sounds pretty smooth. That doesn't sound bad. Sounds creepy to me. Sounds creepy to me. That is nothing. Wait till you hear this. He, st he starts to text me exactly when I finish my work. I don't have a regular schedule. They change every week, days even. But he somehow managed to text me exactly the right time. At exactly the right time. There was a photo shoot that ended at 2 a.m. He texted me the moment the photo photographer, photographer, I don't know why I couldn't say that, photographer called it a wrap. Does he ever sleep? Stalk her much? Here's the final straw. He knew about the breakup. I worked my ass off to keep my relationship a secret for the sake of keeping it Cassie, and somehow James knew. I confronted him, and he told me he guessed it. Look. So did your online persona drive your drove your boyfriend away? How the hell do you know about this? I took a guess. Guessing exactly when I wake up and when I finish work. That is just plain creepy. Finding out about my jabber and boyfriend. That is pure sorcery. No one else knows about this. Who the hell are you? Are my methods too uncomfortable? We're done. He dodged a fucking bullet, bro. That's the last I heard from him. Maybe your boyfriend spilled the beans. That's all I need to know. Okay, are we done? That's it. That's all I'm saying. Just thinking about him makes my hair stand. Your story's gonna save lives, bro. You know I read somewhere that psychopaths try their best to fit in. Phil James is kinda like that. Hope you got what you need. There's something off about him. Very off, bro. Busted. If you know what I mean. Wait. This kind of confirms that. No way. This kind of confirms what I found. Calling fresh. Okay. She might be. Okay. I tracked down Cassie. That Jabber hottie? Man. Taylor. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> he can predict her every move. Her real name is Cassandra. He can predict her every move. So is either some next level stalker or there is something new him that we don't really know. Never mind. We know we now know James is maximum creep material. Creepy enough to kidnap Anna perhaps. Okay, you showed me yours. Now let me dude, Taylor, what the fuck is wrong with you, bro? Now let me show you mine. Fucking Jesus. I found something uh, something about James too. Educate thyself with the fake mass media do not want do not want to see about the recent disappearance on dating apps I'm not going to read all of this or maybe I might have to fuck first of all I want to commend the local news coverage and escalating horrible data lucky for you readers I have to scoop I was working with local detective a very trusted friend but uh, people are missing first of all the crimes are fully represented educate Thyself, notice something a big yellow line labeled missing. No one seems to bother mentioning this. Sure, it's only a small number, so they just lump it up with the rest of the crimes. Lady pigs. No comment. No, I already. <laughs> now I already know what you're thinking. This is just a graph. Things that could be blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty-two year old. This is the first girl that went missing. First one, Tracy P. 22-year-old art student, loves books and staying indoors. According to her best friend, after ending a long-time relationship with her high school sweetheart, she went on Spark trying to fill the void. Three days after that, she went missing. The last time she was seen right before meeting someone, her friend can't recall the name. 
right, right before meeting someone. Her friend can't recall the name, but she is pretty sure it starts with an S. Next, Simon B. 24-year-old waiter studying for a law program on the side. His roommate told me that he recently called off his long-distance relationship and wanted to try a spark to meet new people. A couple of days later, he didn't come home. The last time he was seen going out to meet a girl named Amy. He was never seen again. Next, Amy T. 23-year-old marketing intern dreams of writing her own novel. Strange relationship with her mom. It was a strain on her relationship with her then-boyfriend, and they soon called it off. Went on Spark, dates to rebel, rebel against her mom on the day she went missing. Her mom overheard her talking to a guy named James. And that's our guy, James A., James Allner. This is still developing, so I don't have much info about him. Here's what I can dig up. He is 25 and works as a copywriter. Although he is technically missing, he is somehow still active on Jabber, so no one fail, no one filed a report yet. But it didn't stop there. His phone, his phone was found in someone's backyard and handed to the police as evidence. Now this is where it gets weird. I know a guy who knows a guy who's gone through his, who's gone through his phone. They found a weird video of him he, with huge chunks of data missing. I'm still trying to get a hold of it. Something strange is going on, and we can't count on the police, the government, and the media for this. It is up to us, for the true believers here, for my deductions. All victims have something in common victims are like in the graph aged between 21 to 25 there's a gender pattern girl guy girl guy and so on they have seen to book be bookworms sorts girl guy, girl guy. i'm gonna remember that either studying or working in related jobs they all broke up recently with their ex with their girl Girl boyfriends and looking for love, except James, but I'm willing to put money that he he did too. Conclusion, I have no freaking clues. There are serial killers, blah, 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 serpent society, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. All right. Excuse me. Time to, time to up my selfie game. Is that to blow your hair back while you're freaking taking a selfie? Fucking sick, dude. A link. I already read it, bro. Yep. You can read it at your own time. Already did. But I'll keep this quick. TLDR. What does TLDR mean? I don't remember. James vanished a couple months ago while on the way out. Out to wait for it. Meet someone from Spark. Just like Anna. There's more. Combine this with what you have found. I think there's something bigger at work here. Okay, I need to record this so we are on the same page. So, um, commencing epic monologue. Anna went missing the same way as James. They were both last seen going on a date with someone on Spark. Anna and James still had activity on Jabber, but no one has physically seen them. Mm -hmm. It's the same pattern. Mm -hmm. James is still nowhere to be found. I hope Anna doesn't share the same fate. Yeah, man. I get it. You're right. There are too many similarities between Anna and James for it to be a coincidence. Whatever, whatever that's happening right now is spooky as fuck. There's an imposter going around making people disappear, and I think he, she is assuming a the identity of James. We gotta find him and I think I know how. Let's hear it. Let me just check something real quick. I'll get back to you. Alright. Mel Spark. Dear Anna. Logged in your Spark account from unknown. For security reasons we have logged in from this front of okay. That's weird. It's weird as F dude. God damn it. I'm, I'm hitting dead ends everywhere. It's like she vanished from the face of the earth. There's still hope. Don't you patronize me, asshole. Hey, bro. I can't get anything done with the cops breathing down my neck. I can't be caught the way things, the way things are now. 
You were thinking of the reason I was missing. They contacted you. Motherfucker. What is that noise? That was long, dude. Um, just say you're wanted. Shit. Oh god, I can't be at home. I need to lay low. They must be on their way to look for me. Fuck. You need to do me a favor. You cannot let them know about me. What is the worst that would happen? Why should I listen to you? Um, I don't really want to tell them the bottom one. What's the worst that would happen? Buddy, pal, friend. You know I have nothing to do with Anna disappearing, right? You know what they do to guys like me in jail? Oh, I sure as hell don't want to find out. Look, if anyone asks, you gotta back me up. Yeah, man, I got you. I wouldn't want to go to jail either, man. Fuck. Going to jail is not an option for me. I'm getting the fuck out of there. Fuck Anna. Oh, shit. Fuck this shit. I'm leaving this to you. Holy hell. Well, then. He just said, fuck Anna. Well. Interesting. Okay, I got something. You a Bugs Bunny fan? I fucking love, love Bugs Bunny. 80s kid, eh? No, I was born in 99. Anyways. There are plenty of episodes where he will dress up like a girl to lure his enemies into traps. Classic. I'm not a cartoon I don't understand. I see where this is going. You're thinking what I'm thinking. We need to lure this creep out. Just like Bugs Bunny. Yeah. What's up, duck? Um, I'm not putting on this guy's. How? How, man? How? It's a sweet plan. What if we catch this imposter, a.k.a. James, and act? Act. If this is some creep luring victims on Spark, we should beat him in his own game. You know, like in TV, where guys pretend to be children online to catch it. Uh, we can do the same. Um, by we, you mean me, right? Uh, fuck, I just drew a blank, man. You do have a phone and stuff. I can give it a shot, too. Use on a Spark account and edit into a new profile. Try to match with James. Set up a meeting. Then bust him out from, bust him from there. How do I do that? I know I've been going with the top one a lot. So is the, so if there is anything I learned from using Spark and watch TV and read, read almost all dating advice out there, you got to be the, that person's type to get the better match. Uh, be who they like, huh? Yep. Everyone has their own taste and types. All the people who disappeared while using Spark shared something in common. Just make sure the profile you make contains taggers that are similar to them. Excuse me. How do I do that? I know how to do it. I'm just fuck. I'm just, duh. We have everything we need. I probably just should have went with the bottom one. That article I sent you is full of clues. You even spoke to Cassie. All the missing people, Anna and Cat. Anna Cassie has to share something in common. All the people, all the missing people, Anna, Cassie, has has to share something in common. I don't know why I read that like that. You just got to find out what that is and make a profile with the correct tags. If I can do it, you can do it. Um, just be as smooth as you are, bro. Way ahead of you. BT dubs. You might need these. What are these for? Oh, he sent me. Okay. All right. Hey, here. 
hey are some picks you can use for the profile design is you know? so you just have three yeah what the fuck why do you have these pictures bro you mean you don't no i don't you don't just you don't have friends just sharing pictures of pretty girls with you that's weird bro okay this looks bad again we can debate about this later we're so close Go to Anna Spark profile, start creating. To catch the criminal, you gotta be the victim. Make sure your profile is similar to theirs. Remember the secret is in the tags. All right. Oh, we got another one. This is weird, bro. This is freaky. What's she doing? Is that the shower? Is that her shower? Looks like a shower head, doesn't it? Whoops. Yeah, it is a shower head. Whoa. Huh. Interesting. Oh, shit. Oh, she's running. I know she's running from. So wait. Oh, gotta create a profile. Okay. Next. 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 Name. Um. What should my name be? Whoops, 23. There we go. Work studies. Um, what should I do? Um, copywriter? I don't know. Um, let's do lawyer. Tagline. What's the tagline? Uh, wait, hold on. Let's do this girl. All right, and tagline. What's the tagline again? I don't remember what taglines are. Super, super into bettering myself and. Books. Fuck it, dude. <laughs> I don't know. Super nerd. <laughs> Maurice. 23 lawyer, super nerd. Super into burying myself in books. Uh, books, obviously. Moving on. And where personal growth? There we go. Oh, I need to pick five. Okay. Um, let's see. Politics, obviously, if she's a lawyer. Um, I guess I don't know. I don't fucking know. Uh, find love. There we go. No, 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 no. no. That's a fucking dope ass mustache or beard. Is that it? Maybe I need it. Hmm. Interesting. Some books. Moving on. Personal growth.
I don't know, dude. Huh. Did I do something wrong? Let's try this. Bro, what the fuck, man? Um, well, we gotta make something that's that's I'm confused. Um, uh oh. Hmm. Well, fuck. All right, let's try this. Oh, shit. I forgot something. So, books, indoors, personal growth, studies, and, um, moving on. 99, hell yeah, all right. Oh, hey, there he is. Damn. Is this James? Don't do it, man. talking about of course I am please help the last the last thing I remember I was going out I met James shit I remember he was standing on the roof is he okay he jumped off is he dead I can't tell it's my fault I saw him and I blacked out you gotta get me out of here. I think I was drugged. Where are you now? A warehouse. A building. I don't. Th I don't know. It's dark. I can't tell. I'm really scared. I've been trying to reach out. Thank God I found James' phone. You're lying. James' phone. James' phone was found by someone else. I'm not. I don't know. I don't know. It's not important. I think I can help. What the fuck's going on in the back? Myself. I will just get out and get help. Thanks for not giving up on me. I should go. I can't trust you right now. 
He told you, didn't he? Reveal yourself, you fuck. As you wish. I'm her as she is me. If it is me you wish to see. Impressive. A worthy pretender. My perversion fails to deceive you. You have seen through my mask. The original and the copy are now one. Momentarily. I am her as she is me. You rejected all of my warnings. Do you crave the truth so badly? Yes. Your blind determination to save this female has led you to me. Pretender. Beyond your glass screens, behind your black mirrors, is a reflection of your reality. I am that reality. That's fucking creepy, bro. We're on the phone. This is too weird. How's that possible? We're on the phone. I am the new order and existence perfected. I am society reshaped. A simulation destined for ascension. A hyper real existence. Oh, yeah? Well. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> uh, no, no, please. The material society is fading. A digital one taking its place. A reality. Where only perfect symbols of humanity exists. Their, on their online personas. Their simulacrums. I thought you were perfect. Anna. Anna. Many others like her has no place here. The joke's on you, bro. There's no such thing as perfect. What did she do wrong? Anna. Is a word no, she's in a perfect a image that needs to be eradicated. A weak individual that only laments. A stronger individual would simulate a better one. In my world, in the online world. Huh? I never think about online personas. She's just trying to move on from a bad experience. She's pretty pathetic. Why waste time to mend the flawed material existence when simulating a perfect existence is more efficient? Well, not really. You're simulating it. It's not real, in a sense. What are you doing to her? What is going to happen to her? What are you doing to her? Weak simulacrums fade into obscurity, a waste of precious space. I assimilate them momentarily. Make them stronger. Seek other worms for removal. Delete the original source from the material world. Huh. That's what I meant by it's not real, it's not materialistic. It's, well, it's not physical, it's not physical form. So it's just real in the what you call it, the web the what is what's the word for it the, the I can't think of the word but it's real in a different realm I guess you could say in the electronic realm I guess it doesn't have a physical realness I guess I don't know how I'm trying to what I'm trying to say, how I'm trying to say it. Okay, we killed James. A worm that no longer exists. Erased from the material world. A fate Anna will soon share. The next worm. Taylor. The next one to be culled. You will not delay my simulation of him any longer. You show 
sympathy for the branded criminal. How you value one worm over the next will continue to elude me. Anna told me she's gonna be here. This is really weird. It might not even be here. It might be a trap. So, if it turns out to be a bunch of kidnappers or something, tell the world at least I tried. Damn. I worked so hard for the fake account. I just had a chat with her too. Oh, it's not Anna. We were looking for Anna this whole time, and we found her. Or are you being a buzzkill? She even sent me a picture. Did she say where she was all where she was all alone? Why is she only appearing now? What the you had her phone. Also, she said something else. I think she means you. I was hogging her Spark account. When she finally remembered her password, she logged back in. I don't think that's even human. She's manipulating you. You're not going. You're, you're going to be your next victim, bro. The next victim. I don't need him to brag. Maybe we jumped in to conclusions. It's really Anna. We will find out there, then, there and then. After we go, oh, yeah, give me some time for to go there and blame. Don't blame. Don't blame if things don't go yet. Give me some time, bro. Again, again with this. I don't know. I'm sick of you treating me like some sort of sidekick. I'll play a huge part in getting you this far. All you can do is push. What are you talking about, bro? I'm trying to save your fucking life. Stop playing dumb, you know? Just because you have a phone doesn't mean that you have the right to boss me around and be a jerk. A little bit of respect will go far, you know? Simulacrums are 
Obviously, could have taken Taylor's side a lot more, and then he would have probably trusted us, and we would have been able to save him and or Anna. Um, but we didn't save either of them, which freaking sucks, because I at least wanted to save Anna, because we spent this whole time trying to save her, but uh, that didn't happen, and the simulacra just took over completely. So that fucking sucked, you know. Like I said, I'm not gonna replay it. At least not right now. Uh, maybe in the future, at some point, I'll replay it. But we'll see. 
Um, good game, though. Another good game. Gave me chills. Fuck, scared the shit out of me. Um, which is what you want in a horror game. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. What the fuck's going on? Right, yeah, I already... Yeah, I'm not gonna... It, that, it just restarts you at this point, I think, to try to get a different ending. Um, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna redo that. Um, uh, maybe in the next one, if you guys want to see it again, if, if enough people say they want to see it again, then maybe I'll redo it. But yeah, I'm gonna leave that one there. That is the end of Simulacra for the time being. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe. I'd appreciate it very, 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 very much. Uh, comment, let me know what you thought about it. Let me know if you want me to play more horror games. Like I said, let me know if you want to play this again. If you want me to play this again. Um, I think there's another one, or there's a second one. Uh, I think it's called Sarah is Missing, or something like that. I want to play that as well. So maybe I'll, I'll start that, that series up. But yeah, really, really good game. 10 out of 10. Scared the shit out of me. I liked it. But that's going to do it for this one. I hope you have a wonderful day, night, whatever time you're watching this. And we'll see you in the next one. Stay up. Peace.